I'm going to show you how we use Airtable to streamline content production and keep our team aligned when it comes to creating and releasing and reviewing and approving content. Hey, it's Arit here from Estatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. And part of that is using tools like this, Airtable, that help organize everything for you. It used to take me, like th this content production thing used to really be this disjointed process of creating the content and then having to review it from our team members and then, you know, figuring out how to do the revisions and where to put the notes and which platforms it goes out on and, and all of these different things. So it really helps to have a system like Airtable, which is pretty, pretty much, it's like a spreadsheet, except on steroids, I like to call it, because it's very, it's more visual than a spreadsheet. So I'll just show you uh, some examples of what we do here, and you can customize it accordingly. And if you're not familiar with Airtable or you wanna check it out, I'll have the link in the description below for you. As you can see here, every single row is a piece of content that is going out on a particular publishing date. And associated with that, there are notes about the format of the post, the caption that goes along with it, any creatives like a graphic that goes along with it, what platforms we're posting it on, the status, of the post, whether it's in progress, sent for approval, approved with revisions, all this kind of thing, uh, who it's assigned to, and a separate column for revision notes. So at first glance, this can look overwhelming, but it's really not once you start to put it into practice. And as you can see here, I'm scrolling down, these posts are, have already gone out, they're published, but you can see here we're kind of working on these sets right now. Some of them are approved, some of them are approved with revisions, some of them have been sent for approval. So, and, and we're doing this, you know, we have months in advance already scheduled out. So it, it, it's really helpful to organize everything. And the way that we do it is our social media manager, Carissa, she'll come in here and she'll create a new row, which is a new post. She'll give it a, a working title, a name. The notes state what type of format the post is in and the, for this particular one. And for you, it might be what theme is it? You know, um, if you have certain content categories, you can change the the fields to, you know, content categories and have different multiple choice or different selections as well. You can totally customize this to what you need. Then we have a space for the caption. She has a link to a creative. So we use Google Drive. You can use Dropbox or wherever. Uh, you can also upload assets directly into Airtable if you don't use a drive or anything like that. Just keep in mind that you might reach your plan limits on the free, uh, the free version quite quickly if you do that. We are still using the free version, so it's you know you're able to really create a lot even just in this way. And uh, if you link to outside um, graphics through a drive link or Dropbox, then that helps with, th with that. For us, we have the platform, what platforms it goes on and the status. So when she creates the post, she marks it as sent for approval. And so I come in here and I'll review the caption, I'll review the creative, and I'll leave any revision notes for her right in here. Or what's easiest for me that I found is I will do a Loom video. So I also use another tool called Loom. Again, I'll link to it in the description below. But Loom just uh, allows you to have an extension set on your browser like this, where when you click on it, it will give you the option from your browser to film or record your screen like so, like you see here, you can set your camera and microphone and then hit start recording, which I'm not gonna do because I'm already recording here. This way I can hit record and then I'll just basically start talking, providing my revisions and say, okay, Carissa, um, yeah, I like this sentence, but can we change this word? you know, to whatever, uh, or I'll just give my feedback and then she'll do the revisions on her own. I'll click on the link here and then talk about the creative, what I like, what I don't like, and then I'll stop the recording and I'll put the Loom link instead in the revision notes. So you really have to find what works best for you, whether it's writing out the revision notes or just doing a quick Loom video and putting that 
in there. Sometimes I'll do a loom video with like 20 minutes or 30 minutes just sitting there reviewing content after piece of content and I'll just send her that larger link um, in our communication channel. And, and once that's done, I'll either mark it as, you know, if it's, if she needs to revise it, I'll change the status to needs revision. But if it's just something quick, like, you know, uh, change this word, and I know she'll have no problem doing that, then I'll already say approved with revisions, just so she knows she still needs to make those revisions. Or if it's good to go, no revisions at all, I'll mark it as approved. And so she then goes and schedules out all of the approved posts that are ready to go on our LinkedIn and our Instagram. And I also recently, you know, sometimes you, you'll create these status options without knowing initially whether you need them or not. So you can always add more or modify them. But recently I added this one where, you know, I didn't really like the concept of the post at all. So remove the post and then she created a different one entirely. It's cool because you can also, just going back into this, you can leave comments for each other. So you can, like I can come in here and just tag Carissa and then leave a note and then she, when I hit enter, she will receive an email uh, as long as her notifications are turned on for Airtable in her settings, she'll receive an email to come in here that I've left a note. So you can, you know, turn this into a conversation if you wanted to or with comments here or sometimes she'll leave comments for me in here and will tag me so that I know to come take a look at it. So that's how we collaborate back and forth, leaving feedback for each other and that sort of thing. You know, I found that also the view of what I'm looking at in the content calendar can also vary. Like if you prefer to see your content in a calendar, Airtable does that as well. You can change the view here and look, see a, a calendar view of the content if you want, or a gallery view, Kanban. There's different options here that you could change up. Another thing to keep in mind, if you don't like to see it small like this in separate rows, you can make them the rows uh, thicker or taller in height so you could see a little bit more of the content within each at a glance rather than having to expand it. And all of these little numbers here that you see here are basically showing the number of comments that we went back and forth on this particular post. So there's a lot of really cool things that you could do with Airtable. Another thing that you could do here, there's lots of little things, but I'll show you again. If you wanted to, for example, just see the pieces of content that you have to approve, for example, or that you have to address. So you could change this to uh, filter by this where the status is sent for approval and that way you're only seeing all of the ones that you need to review and vice versa your team member could do the same thing with whichever ones that she or he need to go and revise after you've approved it there's also other integrations that you could do with Airtable. like you could integrate this with slack to give you reminders or messages you could integrate it with you know google drive directly so you don't have to do those separate links there's a lot of things that you could do to just make this more of a seamless work flow for you but I just wanted to share ours so that hopefully it gives you a little bit of a light bulb to how to smoothen out or streamline your content production system. Again I'll put the links down to Airtable and Loom in the description below and if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows it's good content. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!